Hey guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm gonna to be doing the library love tag. doing a lot of tags recently and I have been but I got tagged in another tag by Melanie Frenchy Reader so thank you so much for tagging me I will link her channel down below so you guys can check it out but for this tag I haven't actually looked at it at all like I haven't looked at any of the questions I haven't watched the video I haven't done anything so I have my iPad here so I can look at the questions while I answer them so you guys can get like very off the top of my head honest answers to these questions so let's just get into it. So the first question is, when did you first go to the library and when did you get your first library card? So this would have been when I was a kid. Like when I first learned to read or even before I learned to read, I had a library card and I would go to the library every day after school. And this was because my parents couldn't pick me up right away and there was a library right next to my school. After a while, we were able to go to aftercare, which is like an actual like thing in the school. But for a lot of the times, we would just walk over to the library right after school and we would hang out there until our parents could pick us up. And we had a great public library back then. Like, I loved that library. Sometimes I just go in that area just to look at the library sometimes because it was a great library and I absolutely loved it. And I used to go like, starting in kindergarten, I wanna say. Like, I probably didn't go before that, but like, I didn't even know how to read yet. And I would go to the libraries. And we got a library card right away. Of course, it's under your like your parents' name when you first get it because you can't have your own library card until like you're like 12 years old or something like that I think it might have been younger it might have been like eight years old or something like that but yeah it was under our parents name at first but I loved it I absolutely loved going to the library when I was little so question number two is how often do you use your library so my local library where I live now is not great it doesn't have a very big selection and I have to drive at least 20 minutes, probably more due to traffic because I live in the Disney area of Orlando and there's always traffic around Disney World and I have to pass past Disney World in order to get to my library. So I very rarely visit my local library. I do have a library card for the library near my parents' house though. So when I go visit them, I go visit the library then. And I also use the Libby app with that library because that library is fantastic. It's the same one from when I was a kid and it has really great selection online. My local library no longer uses Libby or Overdrive or anything like that, which annoys the crap out of me. But my parents' library uses Libby and Overdrive and Hoopla as well, which I love. So I use that all the time. Like I wanna say like 90% of the audiobooks I read are from my library and I read a lot of audiobooks or I listen to a lot of audiobooks. Like if you've seen my wrap ups, it's like 50% of my overall books, per, usually more than 50% are audiobooks and I absolutely love them. And the majority of them come from my library. That being said, when it comes to physical books, I almost never go to my library. Like a little while last year, I would borrow physical books from my parents' library, which was fine because like you can keep it out for like three whole weeks, which is good. The only problem is I live pretty far away from my parents, so I can't just stop by the library and return it. I have to go back within that time frame, which I don't always do. So that's why physical books, it's just not feasible for me to physically check out books. So that's why I have such a large collection also because when I wanna read physically, I usually read owned books, but for audiobooks, I borrow them all the time. The next question is, have you ever had a late or lost library book? So I've never had a lost library book, but I've definitely had late library books, especially when I was little. Like I would never turn those in on time. I haven't had one anytime recently. Uh, part of that is because I do more of the online library thing and they return automatically. So I don't have to worry about that. But like when I was little, I used to have fines at the library all the time. Like it was kind of bad because I would check out like 30 books. My library let us check out a lot of books. and then I would just like not read half of them which is terrible but like you can't read 30 books in 30 days I mean you can and I've done that before but not when I was like you know in the second grade or something like that I always had late library books so question number four is what is your favorite thing about your library the library book sale in not my local library but again the one that I use at my parents house there's like 28 libraries in that county and every single one of them 
has a library book sale like room so they have a room where you can donate books for the library to sell where all the proceeds go to the library and the books are super cheap like you can get mass market paperbacks for 25 cents and then like hardcovers for two dollars regular paperbacks for one dollar and you can get like really good books in great condition for like two dollars a lot of my books i've gotten from that library book sale actually let me show you a few so this hardcover edition of the name of the wind by patrick rothfuss in perfect condition or near perfect condition at least two dollars at my library book sale it was fantastic another near perfect hardcover book the great alone by chris and hana by the way fantastic book fantastic author also only two dollars at my library book sale this gorgeous edition of pillars of the earth by ken follett with just some minor writing and stuff in it only one dollar at my library book sale and mind you all three of those books that i just showed you are five star reads for me so i've gotten some of my favorite books for really cheap at my library book sale and i absolutely love that about my library okay so the next question is are you a browser or do you plan what you check out at the library i'm 100 percent a browser like I do plan a little bit like to my TBRs. Like if I do a TBR or if I have an idea of what I'm gonna do for my TBR, I'll check that out or put it on hold at my library, especially if I'm planning to read the audiobook. Like for right now, my March TBR, I knew I was planning to read The False Prince because that was what was winning in the poll. So I put that on my hold in my library a while ago and I just got it in the month of March so that I could read it on time. But mind you, my TBRs are 12 books long, which is not that much. And my library allows me to check out 30 books and put on hold 40 books. So apart from those 12 books, I have a ton of things on hold and checked out on my library that I just haven't gotten to yet or things that I'm just interested in and maybe I'll get to sometime soon. Like one of the books that I'm currently listening to on audiobook is Woman Is No Man, which I put on hold in my library a while ago, just like randomly. And then I saw it on Book of the Month and I was like, you know what? I've had my eye on this book for a while. Let me buy it and let me actually read it. And I'm loving it right now. So like that happens to me all the time where I'm just like browsing through the library catalog and I see something that catches my eye a lot of times I end up buying the books because I like to own books but I do browse a lot like I, I do both I plan and I browse I plan about 12 books a month and then I browse like the other 18 or so that I'm checking out at my library so the next question is name a book that you took a chance on at your library so for this one I think I'm gonna go with a monster calls by Patrick Ness so this is one I actually read physically that I borrowed from my library and I loved it. It was a book that I knew I wanted to read physically because this is an illustrated book and it's actually known for its illustrations. Like it won awards because of its illustrations, but it wasn't the type of book that I knew I would like, that I would know that I wanted to buy. So I took a chance on it when I saw it at the library and I absolutely loved it. I ended up giving that one five stars, by the way. It's a fantastic book and one that I do plan on owning eventually. And I've also heard the audiobook is really good for that one. So it's one that I want to reread physically with the audiobook. But anyways, I saw it at my library and I was like, you know what? I've been meaning to read this one and I want to read it physically and I don't like like getting the ebooks for it. So that's why I decided to borrow it from my library. And I think it's the only physical book that I borrowed from my library that I actually read physically like within the last year or so. And I loved it and I'm so glad that I checked it out. So the next question is, what is the best book that you've read from your library? Okay, so for this, I decided to go with the best book that I borrowed from the library this year that I don't own a physical copy of. And for that, I think I'm gonna have to go with The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I borrowed the audiobook from my library in January and it's fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I actually have a full review on that, so I will link it up in the cards for you guys. You should definitely check it out. It's a fantastic book and I really, really enjoyed it. So the next question is, have you ever taken the same book out multiple times? Yes, yes, most definitely yes. So I'm very bad at finishing a book the first time that I borrow it, especially when it comes to like the audiobooks and stuff. I always have like 30 audiobooks out on my library and I obviously don't get to all of them within a two week period. Like it doesn't happen. So I'm constantly renewing loans or placing holds again and then getting them back again like 
it's a constant thing for me, but that also means that I constantly have books ready for me when I want to read them. So yeah, all the time I'm renewing loans because I don't finish 30 books in two weeks. Like I wish I could, like I really wish I could, but nobody has time for that. So the next question is, have you read a good book set in a library? And that's an interesting question. I can only think of two books right now that I've read that are set in a library. I actually have copies of both of them. So the two books that immediately came to mind when I read this question was By Your Side by Casey West and Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson, which I don't know if I would consider either of these books that I would recommend to other people. They're both YA books. So By Your Side is a YA contemporary romance, which is set in a library because the two characters meet in a library, which they're there overnight. And then Sorcery of Thorns is a YA fantasy in which the main character grows up in a library. Both of these I really loved the concepts of. I didn't care for the execution as much as I wanted to. I think I gave By Your Side four stars and Sorcery of Thorns 3.5 stars. I do think that Sorcery of Thorns is the better of the two books even though I gave it a lower rating. I think part of that is just because I read this one significantly after By Your Side like it was like at least a year later which I was a little bit harder on books then and also partially because it's a fantasy and I have higher standards for fantasy books than I do other books. But I did enjoy both of these and they're definitely fun and fast reads and they're set in libraries so that makes them even more fun. The next question is have you used your library ebook and audiobook options? 100%. I always use the audiobook options. I have used the ebook options in the past. Usually if it's a book that I really don't want to buy but doesn't have an audio option in my library, that's the only time that I'll use the ebook options. The only thing that really comes to mind as ebook options that I definitely read that I borrowed from the library was when I was reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas because it was a book that I really wanted to read, A Court of Mist and Fury, because everyone seemed to love it, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy the series and my library didn't have the audiobooks. So I read the first book on ebook from the library and I started the second book and when I started the second book I decided like oh I actually do really like this so I ended up buying the books but that's the only one that pops into mind is something that I've read the ebook option for but audiobooks all the time like I listen almost all of my audiobooks from my library so yeah love the audiobook options. The next question is which is the best library you've been to and I feel like everyone's answer to this is gonna be like some famous library. I haven't been to any famous libraries like zero and I would even think like even my college libraries, I didn't care for that much because it's like all like scholarly stuff and I'm very much a fiction reader. I love reading fiction and that's basically all I read. I mean, I do read nonfiction occasionally. I do read more scholarly stuff occasionally, but not really. Like even if I get into literary fiction, like it's still fiction. So yeah, I, I don't really care for like the more like upscale college libraries or like I haven't been to any famous library. So my childhood library, the one that I used to stay in after school, that would probably be the best library that I've been to because it has so much of a selection. It's such this beautiful, like glass front, beautiful library. And it was just always clean and nice. And I loved it. It was, it was my favorite. And the last question is what would make you use your local library more? And for me, that would be like if it was closer to my house, like if there was a library within walking distance, I would use it all the time. Like I would literally go there probably every day if I had a library closer to me or maybe not every day but at least like once or twice a week but unfortunately I don't have a library near me like I wouldn't have half the books on my shelf right now if I had a library like near me but I don't unfortunately you know what I like having the books though just saying I like owning books so I, I'm not too sad about not having a library near me but I kind of wish that I do because I would use it all the time. So if you made it to the end of this video, let me know down in the comments how often you guys use your library. I would love to hear from you guys. I post videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, so consider subscribing. I also post bonus videos, so if you want to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click the little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. Also, shoot me any links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!